process in living organism part 1 cell division an essential life process this is a very important topic so study it carefully cell division is one of the very important properties of the cells and living organisms due to this property only a new organism is formed from the existing one a multicellular organism grows up and emaciated body can be restored There are two types of cell division that is mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis occurs in the somatic cells and the stem cells of the body whereas meiosis occurs in the germ cell. Remember that before any type of cell division the cell double up its chromosome number present in its nucleus that is if the chromosome number is 2n it is doubled up to 4n. Mitosis Mitosis is completed through two main steps. First that is karyokinesis. and karyokinesis is a nuclear division and it further divides into four steps the first step is prophase condensation of basically thin thread led chromosome starts they become short and thick and they start to appear along with their pairs of sister that is chromatids centroids duplicate and each centroid moves to the opposite pole of the cells the second step is metaphase Chromosomes complete their condensation and become clear, visible along with their sister chromatids. All chromosomes are arranged parallel to the equatorial plane of the cell. Special type of flexible protein fibers are formed between the centromes. The third step is anaphase. Centromes split and thereby sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and they are pulled apart in the opposite direction with the help of the spindle fibers. Separated sister chromatids are called as daughter chromosomes. In this way, each set of chromosomes reach at two opposite poles of the cell. The chromosomes which have reached at opposite poles of the cells now start to decondense, due to which they again become thread-like, thin, and invisible nuclear membrane is formed around each set of the chromosome reached at poles. daughter nuclei is formed and nucleolus also appears in each daughter nucleus the b part is cytokinesis which is cytoplasmic division the cytoplasm divides by cytokinesis and two new cells are formed which are called as daughter cells in this process a notch is formed at the equatorial plane of the cell which deepens gradually and thereby two new cells are formed meiosis Meiosis is completed through two stages. Those two stages are meiosis one and meiosis two. Meiosis one. In meiosis one, crossing over occurs between homologous chromosomes, and thereafter those homologous chromosomes are divided into two groups. Two haploid cells are formed. Meiosis two. Meiosis two is just like mitosis. The two haploid daughter cells by separation of recombined sister chromatids to become four cells. During the cell division, crossing over occurs between the homologous chromosomes, and thereby genetic recombinations occurs. Due to this, all the four daughter cells are genetically different from the parent cell and form each other too. Please remember the difference between the mitosis and meiosis, and aerobic and anaerobic respiration. It is important, and it will be provided you in the description. Thank you for watching this video, and keep watching the Academic Squad.